Hi guys, it's Debbie from Resin Hut. I am so excited. I can't contain my excitement. How I, oh, guys, I tell you, as you guys know, if you have seen my previous videos, I bought the six, seven, and eight inch naked lady. The six and seven, I have done videos on that. Um, there should be videos of me making those with jasmineite. I didn't do it with resin. I have done resin, but I just showed the videos of the jasmineite. So this puppy arrived today. She is a monster, an absolute monster. I mean, I knew she was going to be big at, at just, she's just under eight inches never expected her to be this big i mean look at the size of it i have done a water measurement and she's going to take a whopping 750 grams of resin so in my way that i work it out i always double it so that's pretty much one and a half kgs or grams, I even want to say, one and a half grams, because I weigh my jasmineite. So, I'm not going to be doing that today. I will be doing that in the next sort of two weeks. I won't go into the whole story and bore the living daylights out of you, but long story short, I've put a bid on a vacuum chamber, which ends in two days. If I lose that, I will, my partner's electrical mechanical engineer, so... He has already advised me on which one to get. I've already put that onto my like on, um, well, there's one, the same ones on Amazon as well as eBay. Um, so whichever one's cheaper, I'm going to go for that. But it's identical. It's an identical vacuum chamber. Obviously a little bit smaller than the one on eBay. Anyway, I will not be doing this little girl or this big girl, I should say, until I get my vacuum chamber because I am not wasting, whether it be, 700 and 750 grams of resin or one and a half liters or one and a half grams a 1.5 liter of jasmine eye. it's just it's just too much in the pocket shall we say so look out for that video i should hopefully be doing that in the next i'd say in the next sort of two to three weeks i definitely are going to be making this puppy but i will be using the vacuum chamber for that um i just don't want to take a chance anyway Enough of that, guys. Today, this arrived. I ordered this off of Amazon a couple of days ago. Now, I wanted something different to sort of the, the smaller ones that we get. I, ju I just wanted something just a little bit bigger. I was a bit taken back. I thought that these were a little bit bigger than what they were. I really need to start looking at my measurements. But all in all, they're actually a really nice size. The other one I ordered and I was bitterly disappointed. As you know, I did this the other day, the jar in the jasmineite, and then I also did one in resin, was this one. I ordered this one thinking it would be sort of similar size to this, but it's a lot smaller. But I still like it. So I'll be making those, uh, maybe a few pots in one video, uh, sorry, little jars, I should say, not pots, in the next few days as well. So I'll pop that over to the side. Now, this one I like because I think I've got some resin on here because it's all coming off on the bottom of my mold. Right, this one yeah I like because you've got the plastic pieces that go onto it. Now, I don't work with concrete, so I don't know if maybe they put concrete in here. I'm not sure. But what I liked about this was it came, let's see if I can find it now. I must have we lost it already, guys. Uh, hang on, here it is there. It came with the little little pieces of, you know, that, that's to stop marking your counters. It came with the little tags. I mean, I've got loads of these anyway, but I just thought that was pretty neat. It also comes with these little plastic things, and I've got absolutely no idea what this is. Maybe one of you guys know what it is, and you can let me know. Anyway, so let me put this... Ooh, this Definitely does weigh a ton, I tell you. Right, so today, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing jasmineite. Now, I haven't quite decided what color. I'm going to stick with the terracotta type color again, 
because I want to try and see if I can get it right to how many drops I need to put in to stop that yellow. I think my last video I put like 20 drops of the orange in, but it still came out yellow, which was a bit disappointing. So I might try maybe some of the darker terracottas. I'm not going to divide my mold um, and do the two different colors. I'm going to do it all in one, simply because I think this one took... I think it was 180 of the water and this one was like 220. So I'm not going to um, mess around with that. I'm just going to do it as in one pour. So because this takes 400 all in all, I've doubled it. I've actually a little bit more than doubled it. I've always keep my other little molds out just so if I have got anything over, I can just pour it directly in. Now, let me just see. What did I do? I did 600 of the powder. And 240 of the liquid. So I am going to mix that up, mix that up off camera. So it's not. I don't think you want to sit there and watch me mixing. It's a little bit on the boring side. And when I come back, I will show you which colours I've used, and see what happens, guys. I mean, it is quite a nice small mould, so I should be able. And what I like about it with, with the hard plastic. Um, I think maybe that's why they do it, because obviously concrete gets a lot of air in it. I think it's just, you can really bang this on the counter, where with, with the, if it was just the silicon, I mean, you wouldn't really be able to get it, that, the bumping as, as much as what you would if, with the plastic. So I'm, quite, I'm really excited about this. I've never had a mould with the little plastic fillers to, to for them to sit in. So guys, I won't talk anymore. Sorry, I know I talk too much. I will be back in a millisecond and let's get pouring. Right guys, I'm back and out of breath as always. I have actually decided to mix the liquid and divide it into two. I'm not going to do the marble effect today, but I am going to do the two tone. I finally got some more white color back. Uh, that arrived yesterday actually and I'm going to try these two colors but what I'm going to do is just sort of like a half and half and see how it goes so I think let's try 20 of these right and let's put some white into this these are always falling off the little pieces That's about 20 or 21 drops, I think, just to get it a little bit more white. I don't want it shocking white. Um, um, if you have watched my other videos, you'll know that I really love the contrast colours, but I don't want it to be too much of a contrast. So I've just put 20 drops of the white in there, and, and I've just put 20 into this one. And let's see. Oh, it's actually quite a pretty colour, guys. Just quickly finish mixing it. I just keeping an eye on the time because I can't wait to get my retarder tomorrow. I, you guys, I made such a mistake. The guys that I normally order it from, what you have to do is you have to put the order in and then leave your phone number. And then what they do is they phone you, um, and then you can choose either to get it delivered. Or to just go pick it up and I did find it strange that they didn't phone me but you know life gets in the way you're busy and when I put my order in today I realized I had actually put my telephone number in wrong so they weren't able to I'm surprised they didn't actually write to me but hey oh I'm going there tomorrow now to go pick up some more jasmineite I've got some fillers as well some copper and brass fillers that I've bought and the retarder. Let's just hope they've got it in stock because otherwise I'm going to cry. Right, so that's all mixed up. That's the colour there. And then I'll show you the white. I mean, something nothing really spectacular about this. It's just sort of like an off, just a bit of an off white. So the fun part, guys, I think, I don't know, should I just do half and half? What do you reckon? Mm, time is ticking. Let's just, I wanted to sort of do that this time. I didn't want to do half and half like 
I did the last time I did the corners, didn't I, with my, um, I want to do, oh, there was a big lump in there, guys, did you see that? Oh, no, that's not good. Wow, that's, that's seriously big. Look at that, and it's rock hard. Don't know how I missed that. That's quite annoying, actually. Right, so I'm going to pour this on top. Because I sort of want the top to be like a creamy white and then I want the bottom to be this brown and then the opposite with this one. So we just I got enough. Oh there's I can see a few lumps in there. I have really haven't mixed it well today. Let's hope that that doesn't come out in the final product. Right, let me just um and again, I've, 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 I've one of my things I'm using is silicon. But again, I've told you guys before, I've, I keep using this massive plastic jug, and it's, it leaves so much at the at the bottom. Um, right, this one I'm just going to put a little bit more in. It's not quite full, is it? Although, if you haven't done jasmineite before, guys, and you worked with resin. You don't need to dome this. Um, it's not like resin. It doesn't shrink. So you literally just do it to the line like I have there. Actually, it's slightly under the line, actually. And I've still got loads of this brown left. Well, I wouldn't say loads. I'd say about 40, about 40 mil. But I had a feeling I might be a little bit over because I could have actually done it to 805. But I didn't want to take a chance. I just thought, let me just do 840. I'd rather have a little bit over than not enough. Like this, yeah, guys, I've still got quite a bit of this over, so I'm going to see actually what I will do. Let me get my spoon. It scrapes a lot better. Yeah, I haven't got a lot of this over, so um, mm, 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 let's see if that's going to be enough. I don't know if that'll be enough. Oh, let's give it a go. It's... I don't think it will actually. I don't think it's going to be enough. But it's, that's what you call scraping the barrel. I didn't spill half of it on the plastic. I might actually have enough. And I never do it, I don't know why, I never do it with the funnel, or with the, um, I told you I'm really bad at multitasking, talking and doing something. I'm not your typical woman. Right, I say I'm not really going to get much more out of that. Let's just do that. Don't mind if a little bit of white comes on there. Can I? Oh yeah, definitely not much left in this one, that's for sure. Oh, that's actually really disappointing. Look at that. It's actually, um, it's really weird. That's already gone hard in there. That's why I always say it. I don't know if it works the same. You know, when you're working with resin and, you, and you're making a massive amount of resin, if you put it in a large container and leave it in that large container, it seems to set quicker. Um, I... I don't know if that's the case with jasmineite as well. Oh, that's gutting, guys. That is literally like not even half a centimetre, not enough. Oh, that is gutting. Oh, dear. I could, I suppose I could mix up a little bit more jasmineite and put it on top there, but by that time, there's going to be a difference in the timing, isn't it? Never mind. Never mind. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much done now. It's a, that's pretty much done. Um, really like this mold so far. The fact that you've got that hard plastic underneath to hold it in shape is something I've never had before. So really impressed with that. So guys, I'm going to let that sit. Actually, I better just talking about banging, how easy it'll be to bang with the plastic and I haven't done that oh, no. 
doesn't seem to be coming to the top. It definitely makes it easier with the hard plastic. Wow. Oopsie daisy. There you go. Right. Yeah, that's definitely done the trick. I don't know why. I always seem to forget about banging this to get the bubbles to the top. God, there's quite a few bubbles that have come to the top now. I think that is about as much as I want to get because you can really see that this is starting to get tacky. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I will be back in, well, I will be back in about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. But for you guys, I'll be back in a millisecond, so hang tight and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. I'll just quickly tell you what I did. Um, I didn't have the heart to leave it half finished, so what I quickly did was I quickly did, um, what was it, uh, 10, 10 mil of the liquid and 25 of the powder just to fill it up so I did it um, mix the, the the same color the, the, the brown and the white together and um, just to give it a little bit of a difference because I knew if I try to color match this it, it wasn't going to work so I'm going to leave that one till last because not I think that's about 15-20 minutes since I poured this one so Let's have a look and see how these are turned out. I didn't actually bang these enough, so I'm a little bit concerned that they're not going to come out all right. But hey, let's see. Right. That's the one. I'm just going to just pop these moulds back in. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. I'm quite impressed with this um with the texture of the silicon. It just it just um just feels so much the quality just feels so much better. Um they were a little bit more expensive, but like I've said in previous videos, sometimes it's worth buying some mold that's a little bit better quality you just know you're going to get a better result out of it so yeah they are so that is that's come out again a little bit of sanding on the bottom just to just to it's a, it is flat but it's a bit of a, a little bit bumpy shall we say so if I just sand that down but other than that I know my eyesight's terrible. I've looked at previous videos and got and sort of showing the piece and saying, oh, there's no bubbles. And then when I've looked at the piece closer, there was actually bubbles. So my apologies for those who look at it and think, God, woman, you really have got an eyesight problem. Um, yeah, but what do you think? Um, I'm really impressed. That's the inside. So you can see like the brown has a little bit come through a little bit. But I mean, if you're going to put a pot plant in there, you're not really going to see it, but I really like the shape. Um, I thought it would just be completely square, but it actually comes up to the middle. So you can see it's really, really nice. I'm very impressed with this mould. Um, very, very nice. Really, really nice. So that's the one. Where can I put that one over there? And then the same with this. It comes up. Um, again, just a little bit where the bubbles are, I think. Just a little bit of a sand just to get those... Those bubbles at the top, obviously, were this way round, wasn't it? So there's a few little bubbles there. But once a few a little sand, that would take all of them away. Um, it's got a little bit of a of the little bit of the white has sort of come through there as well. But it's nice. It just gives it a little bit of character. Um, yeah, like I said, a little bit of a sand there and just sort of around you because they're they're not sharp, but. They could could cut a child, I suppose, if they pick it up and try and play with it. Well, hopefully they don't, because <laughs> there should be a pop plant in here. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Oh, I'm really impressed with these with this mold. Now this one here, 
was the one I told you about. I I just filled it up to the top with this um, different colour. I'm not quite sure how this is going to come out because obviously there was sort of like a five minute lapse between the first pour to the second pour. Um, oh, that, oh, that's quite, oh, see what's happened there. Right, I can have, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm happy with that. Um, I could have actually just kept it the same colour because the only difference is, is underneath. Um, where obviously I'd use the colour and just fills it up just to make it thicker so it fills up there. But it, ha it hasn't actually come through. So it's sort of one colour. Um, and I did throw in, I think you can, if you see in the video, I did throw in a little bit of the white. But most of it was really hard in the jug. But you can see there's a little bit of the whites come through there and there as well. Yeah, throughout, throughout it actually, if you go all the way around. You can see the little bit of the white coming through because obviously I put the majority and there's a little little hole there but I think with just a little sand just sand the little corners here and I think that I'm really I really like I've not actually used this mold before that's the first time I've used this mold so I'm quite impressed with that little one um I think this like I said I would just sand this down um and there's a little there's a little um little hole there and there but I said well, I think once you've sanded that down that means you see it sits a bit crooked um because there's a bit of a lump there where I touched it thinking it was dry I think but once you've sanded it that's that's a really nice little terracotta pot yeah a little mini pot if you wanted to put like a little cactus or, or even a little false cactus in there that would look quite nice once it's done but yeah these ones guys are really impressed with this mold um, um, like I said, I did give you the name at the beginning of it. Um, I will look for the the proper full name of it. Um, I haven't quite learned how to put a link into into YouTube yet. As, as some of you may know, I'm not very computer. Computers don't like me. Let's put it that way. I think they, if they had legs, they'd run out the door when they saw me walk in. But all in all, like I said, apart from a little bit of sanding and it's quite weighty as well, actually. Um, I'm, I really, really like the contrast with the colours. I think if I did do it again, um, I would make it more of a half and half, where this, I tended to use too much white in here and didn't have enough to sort of do half of that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, but all in all, guys, what do you think? Um, leave your comments. Um, if or, or any advice, obviously advice always goes goes a long way with me. Um, if you did find the video insightful and you did learn a little bit from it, please hit the subscribe button um, and the like button. Um, all comments, as I said, all comments are always welcome. Um, and let's learn together. Basically, that's that's what I want to do. I want to. You know just just learn with you guys and and sort of do the journey with 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 other people so that's you know that's the main and only reason why I'm doing these YouTube videos is is to try and help a little bit if I can um, and obviously get advice from other people that may know well I think there's a lot of people that will know more than about Jasmine out than me because I've only been doing it for a few months now um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing anything else, let me know. As I said, the the eight inch naked lady mold, I will be doing it, but I am definitely going to wait for my pressure. I don't know. They call, I keep wanting to say pressure cooker, but it's not um, pressure chamber. Um, I just, I'm just, I think also I need to build up my confidence a little bit more before I do that big mama. Um, so yeah let me know what you think and um guys as i always say you take care of yourselves take care of your family and i will see you all soon bye